I'm passing by Expedition Everest right now. I'm not going to go on that because, um, yeah, it didn't feel great after it last time. Uh, so I'm not going to go on it this time. But I will um, film a little bit of it. Just Okay, so I've actually decided that I'm getting quite hungry, so I'm going to go to the Yakin Yeti Quick Service. Um, that's not its proper name, it's just what it's known as in the Disney community. Um, but I'm going to get the um, honey chicken, I think. I think that's what I'm going to go for. So I will um, catch up with you when I'm uh, sitting down eating my honey chicken. to the Andapur local foods cafe. Which there is quite a queue at the moment, um, but uh, I don't think it's gonna get any quieter, so uh, we shall see. Okay, so I actually decided that I'm gonna give it a, a miss for a bit. The queue is really long, so um, I'm gonna head to his tough to be a bug and then hop back later. Okay, so unfortunately I can't actually film on this attraction. Um, so for that, I will leave you here. Catch up with you after the show. So it really is tough to be a bug. I'm heading back over to Pandora now. Um, although my fast pass isn't about for another hour and a half, but I'm gonna go to Satuda Canteen for some lunch instead. Um, hopefully the queue over there will be a little bit smaller than the one over here. Uh, the Yakinyati Andapur Quick Service Restaurant. Um, I will definitely come back to try the honey chicken because I've heard really good things about it. So I'm going to go to the canteen and uh, see what I can have. So I've just mobile ordered some uh, food from Satuli Canteen. Uh, just walked past the Festival of the Lion King Theatre. Um, I will be checking that out this afternoon. Um, but first, I'm getting very hungry right now. So I'm going to go and have my grilled chicken bowl from uh, Satuli Canteen here in Pandora, the world of Avatar. If you listen carefully, you can hear all the animals from Pandora in the background. That's so cool. to the canteen. It was pretty good, it was pretty good. Um, was it worth the money? Um, for what I had, no, probably not. Uh, that's only because I had it plain, because uh, I don't like any of the sauces or any of the additional bases or anything like that. So, for me, was chicken and rice worth... Obviously it didn't cost me anything because of my uh, dining plan, but would it have been worth 14 $12 or whatever it was? No, probably not. Would I come back? Yes, probably. Uh, because I think everyone should try it. Um, they def there was definitely some different things on the menu. Things that you can't get anywhere else. You don't just eat your burgers and chips, your chicken nuggets. But um, I might try some different stuff. Maybe, some, maybe the beef bowl. That did look nice. Overall, my thoughts. It was pretty good, it was alright, nothing special, but yeah, I'm, I was happy with it, it 
tasty good. It is cooked, cooked perfectly. Okay, so now I'm just 10 minutes away from my flight of passage fast pass. Can't wait to ride this ride, it's gonna be fantastic. I've heard so many good things. I'm looking forward to it. I can't film on the ride, um, but I will try to leave my camera on when it's in the locker behind the ride. So you might get something. Um, I will definitely film some Q though. So if I haven't passed for this match, it's given a 140 minute queue. So that's pretty good. Uh, it's 2.23 right now, my fast is at 2.25, so hopefully it should let me in. Here we go! So you now get given these Avatar Flight of Passage link passes. Basically it's all the safety and health instructions uh, to make sure you're suitable to ride. Um, I am, which is good. Can everyone see me? Yes. Great. Welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're gonna have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi Rite of Passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. But first, we have to scan you for Pandoran Microparasites. All right, everyone, stay on your number and move your arms a bit. Okay, start scan. You've all got them. <laughs> but don't worry, uh, they're very common around these parts. Uh, let's start the decon. Initiating GMR decon. Stay still over your number, you're not gonna feel a thing. You're doing great. Awesome. Almost done here. You're all clear. Great. Now let's go over how all this works. Like I said before, you're going to be matched to these things called avatars, which look a lot like the Na'vi. They're created by blending human DNA and Na'vi DNA. Using avatars to fly this way was all figured out by my boss, Dr. Jackie Ogden. She leads our science team, which is part of the Pandora Conservation Initiative, and we're here in the Valley of Moara studying banshees and their environment. Dr. Ogden is the foremost expert on studying the Ikron and has spent years researching them. Unfortunately, banshees live high in rookeries and humans can't get anywhere near them without <laughs> becoming their lunch. But the Na'vi and avatars can. Uh, ooh, looks like they're ready for you in the next room. Uh, when the door opens, please go inside, all the way in, and stand over the same number that you're standing over now. Welcome everyone. I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the Pandora Conservation Initiative. You're about to experience a ceremony that's very special to the Na'vi flying on the back of an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. To the Navi, connecting to an Ikron and flying on its back is an incredibly important rite of passage they call Ikni Maya. With permission from the Navi and in partnership with Alpha Centauri Expeditions, we can now bring this amazing experience to you. First, stow your gear in the storage containers on the back wall. This should include all bags, cameras, and other items, including cell phones. It's important to push them all the way into the bin. Then get onto the chair as you would a bike. Straddle the seat, step forward, and sit down. Slide your hips forward until you are against the chest pad, and then move your feet all the way forward. Wait until you're seated before you put on your flight visors. Hold onto the hand grips as shown. As the Navi say during this important rite of passage, Sivak Ho, rise to the challenge. Restraints activated.
comeback. Oh my god. That was everything. That was amazing. Oh, that was the best ride I think I've ever been. Wow. Wow. Oh, I can't even comprehend what I've just seen and experienced. Whoa. Wow. There's so many different smells. You can feel the banshee breathing underneath you. It, it was just amazing. Oh my god. That was phenomenal. There we are. Out of the mountains and back onto Pandora. Wow. Wow, oh wow, that was amazing. Whew. Intense, but amazing. So this is actually, if you give it a... That's a 65 minute way as well. Um, and the queue is out the door. Uh, let's go over to Rafiki's Planet Walk. So I just popped in Zuri's Sweets and picked up a uh, Mickey Rice Krispie Treat. Let's Express at this time, please sit back, remain seated, keep your hands, arms, legs, feet, and self once again to cameras inside the train at all times. If you're traveling with a little one, make sure they remain seated in a place down your lap or on the seat next to you. Welcome aboard the Wildlife Express, my name is Jordan, I'll be your conductor on our way over to Rafiki's Planet Watch. I'm located in the back of the train in case you're wondering, which means I can see from the back of the train all the way up to the front. On our way over to Rafiki's Planet Watch, we're going to be passing some of the backstage areas in the Kilimanjaro Safari. These are the nighttime homes to such animals as the lions, the warthogs, and the hoofstock. Once you get over to Rafiki's Planet Watch, you'll be able to experience a vet clinic, science nutrition center, science educational center, character meet and greet Rafiki Dr. McStuffins. We also have the affection section for domestic animals such as pigs, sheep, goats, and cows. Sit back, remain seated, keep your hands, arms, legs, feet, cell phones, get the cameras inside the train at all times. The door is in front of you, please do not attempt to open them. Why would you? You're on vacation after all, let us who are working do that for you. I'm over here at Rafiki's Planet Watch. I haven't been over to this part since 2006. Uh, since my first visit, never really had any reason to come over here. There's no attractions or anything over here, it's just some uh, exhibits and some character meets. Um, so it'll be nice to sort of explore. So let's head into Rafiki's Planet Watch and see what we can find.
And you spot the hidden Mickey. Last week we hit a 14 foot now frog. This morning we did some green pea fowl. They went down for just technical issues. Um, Does that mean there's too many people in there? No, that means somebody dropped something on the track and it got wedged in between the sensors. Yeah, they'll get it out. They'll probably give it back to them in pieces. So. <laughs> this is why we tell you to take off half the glasses. We're now approaching our final stop, Harambe, Africa. Please sit back, remain seated, keep your hands, arms, legs, feet, cell phones, kids, cameras inside the train at all times. Have a wonderful day here at Disney's Animal Kingdom and have a wild time.